Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to update destination table by using OLDB command transformation in SSIS. If you want to update the data from the source to the destination table by using lookup and by using the SCD, slowly changing dimensions, we can use the we can update the destination table in SSIS. So in the same way, by using OLDB command transformation also, we can do accordingly. So I will show in this demo. First of all, I will show my input data. This is my text document. The name of the document is file name. So it contains four columns, ID, name, country name, and sports name. And there are seven records. The data is related to the player and, uh, and his country and the player related to the sport. So the, these are the seven records, which is in text document, which is, which is my source document. So when I see my registration table, it is my player table, which is in the sports database. It contains seven records, but you will see except ID, every column is null. So I need to load this data I need to replace this null values with the data from the source doc. I will show how to update this table from the source to the destination table by using the OLDB command transformation. So this is my new package. First of all, I am taking new connection connections that is for uh, flat file and for OLDB connection. So since my source document is test document, I am taking the flat file connection, connection manager and browse the where your file is located. So this is my file name. So columns in the first row and delimited with comma delimited. So I need to change the data type here for ID for the compatibility with destination table. I am taking it as the 4 by 5 integer. Preview if it is 7 records. And OK. Next connection I am taking here as OLDB connection. So I am taking OLDB connection. Add. Since my database is sports database, I am taking sports. Now I am dragging the data flow task into the control flow pane. Double click to configure. So I am taking flat file source. Connection has already created, just we need to take the file. Double click and take the file connection manager and columns here. Four columns. So now I am dragging OLDB command transformation. So here in the connection manager's tab, you select your connection. So I am going to select this sports database. Because my destination table is um, sports database, which is player name is my table name. So I am taking co components here. So if we, no need to change all these properties, except you need to write some SQL command, update command here. So I am writing the update command. Update player table name player set name name is a column name name is equal to question mark comma country name country name is equal to question mark and third one is sport name sport name also question mark and in where condition where id is equal to question mark this is your operation I am copying this statement and paste it in OLDB 
command string value editor and click OK. So in the in the mapping sphere, see here if, while doing my mapping parameter first parameter you need to take it as this name and that is gem, param zero and <coughs> param one comes to country name and param two comes to sports name and finally param three is id so the, in that way you need to map i am taking the name country name sport name and id Now all set. Now after running the package, once again, make sure that there is no data in stable for these three columns. I'm running the package now. See here, all seven rows are moved to plot file to the destination in OLDB command. Just you need to go to your table and run execute the coding. You see, all seven records are dumped. So by this way, you need to load the update the data. The only thing you need to do is take the first uh, take the connection manager and in the properties you need to write the update statement in this way. Uh, whatever the number number of columns are there you just mention your column name and question mark by comma and uh, you have to where in where condition you have to put your uh, id is equal to question mark and in column apex as i say as i mentioned here whatever there in the update set values you need to map accordingly uh, and finally in where condition you need to map it there at last so this is how you need to you need to update the data from the flat file source to the destination table by using the OLDB command transformation. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.